Today I'm going to show how to apply a bow and ribbon to a box die. So I have a piece of art here, vector art, bow art, and I'm just going to place it off center. So this is the top of the box and this panel folds down and this whole top part folds inside this bottom part. And this is, this is an interior die so that doesn't really come into play. So I'm going to just add a couple ribbon pieces. I have, there's also, there's a white key line around here. So when the ribbon goes underneath the bow, it'll just, it'll show that, that white outline. So it doesn't, so it separates the bow a little bit from the ribbon. So I'm just going to see how large this this knot is. It's about an inch because I'll need to know how wide I make it when I line it up with the bottom. Using the square just the rectangle tool. I'm going to create a ribbon. When I when I get my die line in, I usually break it out into layers and I'll put the dimensions on a different layer and hide them so they don't interfere with my work. And then I leave the die on a separate layer and then this bow art I'm working with that's on a separate layer, I labeled art. So I'll, I'll lock these other layers when I'm not using them. And this, okay, 15. The height of this, I just want to line this up. So I'm going to select both these and the width is 11. So I'm going to make this 11 too. And I think that that's fine. 0.92. Let's just call it 0.92. And actually, and I, I'm going to make another layer for the ribbon, so that I'm sure it falls under the under the bow art. And also knowing that this ribbon falls under the bow art helps me if I want to do a line to key object. I can I can easily do that with the ribbon definitely underneath this this bow. I'm just going to place this separate knot. Paste it in back. And just selecting that knot I just made in the bow and the ribbon. Line to key object center. So it's 11 inches. It's from interior die to interior die and it's lined up with the ribbon with the knot and the ribbon in the center so i'm going to select this ribbon with the option and shift key and drag down a copy and then rotate it and i'm going to check the distance between Although, you know, it's, it's really, it would be fine for it to overlap this area onto the fold-in panel. But I'm going to check the distance here between these two interior die lines. And the height is 15 and an eighth. And then I'm going to, I just, I locked the whole bow and then I just cut and paste just this this outer this outline here I cut and paste a copy in back and that's what I'm using to align these ribbons to so line the key object I'm going to center it and then I'm just going to line it up with this die so that's my ribbon and the way I would line it up with the back is that this, 
since this is going to fold down into this back area, I need to have this ribbon, the distance it is from this interior die to the edge needs to be the same as the distance from this interior die to the edge. I'll just make it like 16 for now and so you can see that when it folds in there won't be any white, white showing. And then actually I decided I'm going to line this up I'm cutting, locking, and pasting in place to create a separate line there that I can align this to. So I'm going to line it to the back. And then, so then when the box is folding, you'll be able to see a little bit of the ribbon in the back as well. And I'm going to check the distance here between this die and this die width is 15, 15 and, a, and an eighth, so it's the same, same as that other measurement. So I'm going to set this using my anchor point, my reference point as the left edge, and then I'm going to set my width as 15 and an eighth. And you could actually add a little, you could actually drag this all the way to the edge if you want, which makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Using the same method, copy, lock, paste in place. And I'm going to check the distance here. 19, So I have my top bow and then my fold over. This is how I check this distance. It's pretty much using the same method. I just take this direct selection tool and the arrow tool and I just select the very edge. And I'm just doing the same method. Copy, uh, Command C, Command 2 locks it, Command F places that just that line in place and then I'm going to measure it against this die line. I use the die line a lot to measure distances and my width here is 3.3666. You could nudge it to an even value as well. I mean actually If I wanted to make it, make the value 3.5, I'm going to nudge this 0.1334, just this area here, unlocking, making sure everything's unlocked. Lock my die. I'm just going to move that top portion and using my setting my cursor value, Command K, I'll set the increment keyboard increment to 0.1334 and just nudge that. And then I'm going to check my line again. against this in interior die and it's 3.5 which I think is probably better just for layout purposes. Drag this over. I'm going to align it with this die on the back. And actually I was just going to do I'm not going to really print, we're not really going to print on the back, just the sides and top, so I'm just going to line it to this die 
move it over setting my keyboard increment and that's where it needs to go to fold into this back to fold and match up with the back ribbon with the ribbon on the, it's going to be on the side actually not on the back so I'm going to line this up with the bottom and I'm dragging holding my option shift dragging down and I'm going to line it to the other side so I've got two ribbons and then uh, then you just need to bring this in I'll set my value here using my arrow key and I'm checking the height is 16 I'll just bring it down set my my reference point is the bottom this bottom point I'll, I'll make it 14, maybe go 12, 10, just adding, a, just adding a little bit of bleed for the printer. And I'm going to do the same thing here, setting my reference point as the top, which will be this area. And then I'm going to set this to 10. So that's pretty much it. How to use basic Illustrator tools and simple art to create a bow for the top of a die line and the side. Hope you learned something. Please like if you learned something. Thank you for watching.